ruins me. Acuse me. Can you hear me? Are you having difficulty speaking? Can you move your head? Just nod if you can hear me. Look up, please. Very good. How do you feel now? Can you speak? What is your name? When were you born? Can you recall? Good. Now then. Please try to relax. There is plenty of time. I need to tell you something. Please listen and try not to panic. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know. You would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been... Nine years. Damn it! Nosokoma! 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 Nurse! Calm down. Calm down. Try not to panic. Wait a second. Try not to panic. You'll be all right. How do you feel? I just stated that the reason for the crash was an as yet inexplicable fire in mid flight. The search has ended with a confirmed death toll of 94 and another. It's been one week since you came to. Now, let's try getting you out of that bed. Nurse. Don't worry. You've lost some strength, but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages. CPM therapy and EMS. Now, I need to explain something to you, but you mustn't be alive. Nine years ago, you were injured in an explosion. Upon examination, we discovered 108 foreign bodies embedded within you. In addition to shrapnel, we also found fragments of human bone and human teeth. Most of it was removed, but some of the fragments still remain. They are located near your heart and in your skull. The fragments are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. We couldn't give you an MRI, the metal you see. But even if we were to extract it, you would most likely suffer a brain hemorrhage. 
mental and physical impairment are unavoidable. However, your current status is not life-threatening. One more thing. This X-ray is on your upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. I know it's difficult, but please look down. It's best to see with your own eyes. Be brave. those who wish he would never woken up. You should be dead, but you are not. The wheels are in motion. Your enemies are everywhere. We must alter your appearance immediately. Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. It's a wide open world out there, so there's something we need to take care of first. I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. What you look like, however...
Very good. Now, let's remove these bandages. Hmm, your face has healed nicely. To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection. To hide you from those who want you dead. As of today, your name is Ahab. Forget everything. Your name, your past. This is you, as you've lived until this day. Tomorrow, it becomes... Phantom. Okay, have time to go. What, what, what happened to the woman? The woman? I... We gave her a light. She took the short way down. Who are you? Who am I? You're talking to yourself. Been watching over you for nine years. You can call me Ismail. What the hell is going on? Well, the good news is, here in the land of the living. Bad news? Oh, we we'll want you to. <coughs> On your feet, soldier. The whole place is coming down. <sighs> Need a little pick-me-up? <sighs> okay. Here. 
Nothing like a little digoxin to get you back in the game. Come on! Come on. Drugs not working. 